everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to build balconies, patios and basements on The Sims Free Play. So firstly we're going to start with patios. You need to complete the DIY Homes Peaceful Patios quest to be able to add patios to your Sims houses. Once that's complete, you'll be able to go to the Outdoors tab, click on Patios and then you'll be able to drag on the grass area and place your patio. It's as simple as that. You can make patios of any shapes or sizes that you want. The only requirement is it needs to be at least two by one squares. Once you've dragged to the size you want it, click on the green tick to buy that patio and place it there or click the cross if you don't want to place it there. Once you've added your patio, you can change the paving. The paving tab is next to the patios one. So the second tab along in the outdoors section. So you can select the paving that you want and then click on your patio to change the paving. And click the green tick to place it. The next patio tab, third tab along is railings. So this is, you can add a fence around your patio. So click on the railing you want and then on the patio to add your fence, like so. And the fourth one is patio gates. So you can add a gate to the fencing that you've just put on your patio. So place it anywhere on the railings to add a gate so they can get onto the patio. If you decide that you don't want a railing after all, you can go back to the railings tab and click no railing and then click on the green tick to delete the railing. So let's talk about deleting patios next. It's as easy as adding a patio. All you need to do is go to the patios tab. So go back to the outdoors section and click on patios. If you're playing on a smaller device, you'll just find it under patios. You won't have an outdoors section. And all you need to do is click on the part of the patio that you want to delete. I added this patio in sections, so there's different sections to delete. And all you need to do is click on the red simoleon cell button to delete the patio. Now we're gonna add a balcony you need to complete the DIY Homes Lovey Dovey Balconies quest to be able to add balconies to your Sims houses. And you need at least a two storey house to be able to add a balcony to it. We're going to add the balcony over the patio. The balcony tab is the fourth tab along in the house section. Again, if you're playing on a smaller device, you'll just have the balcony section, you won't have the house section. Then you'll see the yellow area. This is where you can add the balcony to. So you can drag anywhere within the yellow area and click the green tick to buy and place the balcony there. But I want to create a more elaborate balcony. I want to show you what you can really do with it. So I'm going to add a room in this corner here. So we're going to go to the rooms tab for that. And then I'm going to add an extra floor like so. And now I can add another room to the second floor. I promise all will be explained in a minute. So when we go back to the balconies tab now, you'll see on the second floor, the yellow area is filling the whole of that gridded area, the space we have left. So it's not just a small balcony, we can make the whole of that into a balcony. But that isn't what I want to do, so I'm gonna delete that. You need to be on the balconies tab and then click on the balcony to get the red simoleon button to sell, delete the balcony, like so. So we've deleted that. What I want to do is make some pathways leading to that room in the corner. So when you place bits of balcony next to each other, they will join together to create one balcony. So you can make balconies into interesting shapes like so. Now my aim is to do the same on the next floor, but as you can see, the yellow line doesn't stretch that far at the moment. I cannot build past the yellow line, as I just tried to do, it didn't let me, it went red. What I'm going to need to do is add another floor by going back to the floor construction tab because the roof is in the way currently which is the problem. So if I add another floor but don't add a room to it, when we go back to the balconies tab, you'll see that it's all yellow so we can actually build it over that part that's meant to be a room which also means you won't have a random bit of roof there as well. This is great if you want to build a second floor of your house, but you don't want to fill it completely with rooms because otherwise it looks like the roof is covering the whole thing and you've just got the empty black space where there's meant to be a room there. 
So if you put a balcony there instead, it makes it look so much better. Now we can change the balcony paving like we did with the patios, but this time we want the balcony paving tab. Let's change it to the same one we have on the patios, like so. And the tab along from that is railings. So the same as with patios, but you'll find the patio railing tab in the house section, not the outdoors section. Unlike with patios, you can't delete the railings from a balcony. For some reason, there's still the no railings option, but when you click on it, it says you're not allowed to do that. I'm not gonna add any support posts, but you can put those underneath the balcony if you want to, to make it look like it's holding up. They don't actually do anything and you don't really need them. Again, the smallest balcony you can build is two by one. And lastly, let's talk about adding basements. You firstly need to complete the DIY Homes Basement of Kings quest to be able to add basements to your game. You need to be in the house section again and the third tab along is basements. The white dotted lines you see are where the rooms are on the floor above, which may be helpful when you come to planning where you want rooms in your basement. You don't have to follow those lines if you don't want to, but they can be quite helpful for when you want to place like stairs which we'll talk about in a minute. Firstly, I'm just gonna go back upstairs and delete a bit of the patio so that I can place a swimming pool upstairs just so you can see what it looks like when you're in the basement. So we go back down to the basement and you can see the blue area there. That is where the swimming pool is. So you can't place rooms in that area because the pool is in the way. Building basements is exactly the same as adding rooms to the floors above. Apart from you need to be in the basements tab to add the basements rather than the rooms tab. All you need to do is drag and click the green tick to buy and place that room there. Basements are quite a bit more expensive than rooms are though. And once you've added all the rooms, you can just decorate it the same way that you decorate a room. So you can put all the items in from the furniture section and you can use the walls and flooring the same way that you would decorate a room. How do you get down to the basement, you may ask? Well, you need to add stairs for that. You need to add the stairs somewhere in the basement. The red patches indicate where you cannot place the stairs because there's something in the way on the floor above but you can place them anywhere else. You might just wanna check that they're in the right place once you've placed them so they can actually get down the stairs. So those three discovery quests need to be completed in the order they are in this video. So the patios first, then balconies, and then basements. You can find Brie in the park. This is the sim you need to talk to to start each of these quests. And you can start the balconies one 24 hours after completing the patios one and the basements one 24 hours after completing the balconies one. And you need to have completed the multi-story renovations quest to be able to start the balconies one. Let's delete one of these rooms in the basement now. To do this, you need to be in the basements tab again and click on the red simoleon symbol to be able to delete and sell that room. So we have moved around the floors quite a lot, so I want to explain the buttons down the side of the screen. The first one shows you what floor you are on. So this one currently in the, on the roof, and then you've got the third floor, and you go down again, second floor, down again, ground floor. And if you have a basement, you can click down again to go into the basement. The button below this one is the walls. So this one currently walls are all up. If we click on the button, we get a cut through view so we can see into the room. As we rotate, we can see it from the angle we need to see into the room. But any rooms in the middle, we can't see their walls because otherwise they'd be in the way. If we press it again, we can see a cut through again, but we can see the rooms in the middle have walls. I'm currently finishing off this house build. Once it is complete, I will make a house tour of this house. 
If you found this video helpful, please like it and please subscribe to my channel. I regularly post Sims Freeplay videos. I also have a blog, thegirlgames.blog, and on there you can find loads of posts about the Sims Freeplay, including all the quests posts for the patio, balcony, and basement quests. Thanks for watching. Bye!